Hello everyone, in today's video I have a few different techniques of Chrome application for you. On my two uh, ring finger and my pinky finger I have a normal tacky top coat. On the ring finger I am using a dry wipe to scrub off the tacky layer. I'm really getting in there and rubbing that until I am happy that the tacky layer has been removed. But I'm not using any alcohol or wipe off solution or anything like that. On my pinky finger I am using alcohol to remove the tacky layer. On my index finger I am using the uh, Wildflowers mirror powder as I do throughout the entire video and a silicone tool and I am just rubbing that into a no wipe top coat that has been fully cured. I feel like using the silicone tool I need to use more pressure than I do with the eyeshadow applicator. Uh, it does give me a chrome effect, but I feel like it is slightly grainier than using an eyeshadow applicator, but uh, it's really a minuscule difference. I like to use a sponge to remove any excess, well, all of the excess glitter that I can, a powder, whatever you call it. I don't know if you can see there, but uh, there is a slight graininess to that index finger, but it is definitely a chrome. On the middle finger I have again a no wipe top coat, all of the polish used in this video was blue sky and I'm using an eyeshadow applicator with that same mirror powder again from Wildflowers. Uh, with the eyeshadow applicator I feel as though I don't need to use as much pressure which feels much nicer on the tip of my nail and I do feel as though I get a smoother, uh, more full coverage look. I again like to use the sponge to remove the excess, but to be honest, you should probably wait till you've done all the nails to remove the excess because it's just going to keep coming back. Uh, I don't know if you can tell the middle finger looks slightly smoother, less grainy. So on the ring finger, which was the dry wiped finger, I am using the eyeshadow applicator because I decided that was my preferred method of application. Um, and yeah it really burnished in there well you can see i accidentally scratched my middle nail with my fingernails whilst i was doing that so i just grabbed a little extra and rubbed that in whilst i was there i did want to test out the, the um adding a second layer before uh, another top coat just because some people like to do that but to be honest after removing the excess i didn't feel as though adding the second coat really added a lot to the look but you may find different. As with everything, it's all personal preference. I feel as though the ring finger uh, definitely got a good coverage, but maybe looks slightly duller than the no wipe nails. So on the pinky finger, I did try and use the eyeshadow applicator again, and it really wasn't sticking like the other nails were. So I had watched a video by Luxa Polish, I think, I'll link it down below, um, and she had mentioned when her no wipe top coat has been out of the lamp too long it doesn't always stick with the chrome powder so she wipes it with alcohol wipe so I did that on the pinky finger and it absolutely helped the powder stick better but still not as well as the other nails and I used the sponge again to remove all excess well as much pigment as I can from my fingers before I added a layer of top coat no wipe on the pointer and middle finger and a normal tacky top coat on the ring and pinky fingers so again I uh, used an alcohol wipe to wipe the pinky finger and then I applied the chrome powder again it's still not sticking the way that it does on the other nails on the ring finger I had dry wiped the top coat as well and uh, yeah, still it, it attached quite nicely, slightly duller than with the no wipe method. I think at this point I had decided that the ring finger application was my favorite. And I used a silicone tool again on the index finger just to see how that compared to the other finished nails as well. All of these application techniques do give you chrome effects, um, 
The only one that I probably wouldn't recommend is the one that I used on the pinky finger, which was wiping the tacky layer with alcohol. I think if you're going to use normal tacky top coat, do the dry wipe method. And as always, make sure that you remove all, uh, well, as much traces of the pigment that is around the nail as possible because you don't want it to get back onto the nails when you are adding your top coat. So if you can see there, I feel as though the middle finger is the smoothest and less grainy, least grainy of the two no wipe nails. And I feel as though the ring finger is quite close, but slightly more dull. I thought on the thumb I would try Luxa Polish's method of wiping the nail with alcohol. Uh, so that was a no wipe top coat that I then wiped with alcohol. Um, and I will say that the powder did stick uh, quicker, better, I, I don't know. Um, but as soon as I applied the top coat it all just lifted off and it looks more glittery than chrome. I don't know whether that was down to my alcohol wipe or maybe my top coat had some pigment in it. I'm, I'm really not sure. I need to do some more exper experimenting with this method. Uh, but yeah. So the reason that I like to do two coats of chrome, as in like a coat of chrome, then a top coat, then another coat of chrome, is because uh, the chrome does wear away. And if I've got two coats of chrome, the top coat of chrome can start wearing away and then there's still another coat that doesn't go straight to the black polish and it's not as noticeable when it starts to wear away that's just what i find but i think with all of these things it will come down to personal preference and i do recommend that you try all these techniques for yourself and see what works best for you and the products that you're using because i am only using the wildflowers powder and blue sky gel polish so i can't say what technique works best for other uh, products um, this is just what works best for me and these products. I would love to test out all the chrome powders in the world, but I'm not made of money, so I cannot. Excuse the state of my driveway, it's just been raining and yes, I need to do a bit of gardening, but I wanted to show you the chrome nails out in the sun. I think you can see they are all mirrored. You can see me and my phone and my hand in them. Uh, again, my favorite is the middle uh, nail, which was no wipe top coat and an eyeshadow applicator and I do quite like the um, ring finger which was the dry wipe method so if you don't have a no wipe top coat or it's, you can't get hold of one because I know they're always sold out you should give the dry wipe method a try and see whether that works for you uh, as always if you have any questions or comments or requests or ideas of other application techniques that I haven't used in this video that I should use please don't hesitate to leave them below and uh, like and subscribe and share and do all those nice things oh also I think these nails look the best in like not too bright of light like indirect light I guess um, and I do have a video of that on my nail Instagram so if you want to see that go ahead and go over there the link is in the description box Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.